I'm AshmailToyof.com and in this part of my profile series tutorial I am going to be doing the profile picture upload. Um, so, it was here. So, first of all, what we're going to do is I'm just going to uh, just bring this up just over here. Alright. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually add something to the index page or the profile page if that's what you're using where you've got this profile picture div here with profile picture here text in there what we're going to do is put some PHP in here and we're going to say if profile users data um, profile ext for extension um, equals na because that's the default value we had in the database so if it is na then we're going to echo an image tag images file slash profile png okay now basically what this is is just a quick um, a quick default profile picture that I picked up off Google uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial profile system images it's just this that's all it is just a little guy um, and also well that's basically all I've done as well I've created an images folder just inside the root directory um, that's where I've got the default profile image and then I've created another folder in images called user images and that's where all the user images will be stored Okay, um, so now that we've done that, we'll move on to actually coding the profile picture um, end of it if a user has uploaded. So just to see what this looks like. Oops. Um, let's just have a quick check. Um, images forward slash profile dot pn. That's right, isn't it? Hmm. Ah, so let me try again. There we go. So it's just something like that. Um, now, at the moment, I am not actually currently setting any sizes on upload. I will be doing a video tutorial at some point in the future. I'm not sure exactly when. Um, about um, how to resize images on upload, so you can like save space and you know so you not you not the user isn't downloading say like a 10 megapixel image from like um from like a uh, a DSLR camera or something you know some one of these you know super high quality ones just so we can bring the size down to um whatever we need and also this this will keep any uh you know, size, like layout and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that in this tutorial. I will be doing something later, just putting a width and a height on the image tag output. But it's not it's not really recommended that way. If you're dealing with file uploads or image uploads, you should really be doing some image compression and resizing um, just to get the maximum, you know, um, size reduction and things you you want anyway um, that's not really part of this so the next thing that we want to do is actually go into account.php so we can actually create the form to upload this so what we're going to do is right under this one we're going to just section that off with a horizontal rule and I'm actually just going to copy this one another horizontal rule update um, profile picture um, and we're going to we're actually just going to put a break on here and in italics I'm just going to put allowed extensions um, and we're going to allow dot jpeg star dot 
jpeg because some file extensions are like that so just allow both um, and dot png for now you can add more or less or you can have whatever you want in there or you might not have an allowed extension you might just want you know the actual file just to be an image uh, but anyway this is just some basic like restrictions I suppose so we're just going to create the form action is back on account dot php update um profile picture method post and the end type is only really part dash form dash data the form off okay so now we can just put in here input type this is our basic stuff now file um, name we'll call it as pro file picture um, okay now we'll just create the input button input type submit name is profile picture submit and we'll have the value as date all right so let's see what we've got for that it's just a basic form shouldn't be nothing too difficult account there we have it there profile update profile picture all our extensions got some extensions there and we choose a file and we click update all right so now onto the php side of this um, so we just create some PHP tags, probably not that many. Okay, um, first of all, we need to go if is set. Um, actually, let's get this from up here. Change that to profile picture. Okay, um, so next, so what we're going to do is get the type of the file. Type equals dot underscore files it's in a uh, multi two dimensional race profile picture. Up, oh. um, and then that's the type. And we also want to get the size because we don't want to upload any files higher than a certain size. And that's just uh, also a good practice to do a size restriction. Most of the restrictions. For files, oops, not type, uh, size. A good practice to do anyway, even if it's just basic or just putting them in. Um, just for the sake of it, just so you can have them there just for ready use if you do wish. So, what we're going to do is create the errors array. Um, what we're going to do is if, if type is equal to image file slash jpeg or type is equal to image file slash jpg or type is equal to image file slash png okay so if that's true what we're going to do is get the file extension of the file type even though you could use this, you could maybe use the type and then do a sub str um, for the forward slash. But the way I like to get the type is by um, we just create a variable called explode, um, and that's the explode function. And what we want to do here is explode the dot, so the dot separates from dollar underscore files. profile picture uh, the name and then to get that extension from that now all we do is go convert we call it exd for extension and um, explode now you could put oh, I'll get another there okay um, you could put end around explode like this so end and then um, you know explode in there but um, you will get a PHP warning to say it's um, a reference or something I can't remember too much about it, it was a while ago since 
actually did that and I've always done it this way since. Um, but um, I can't remember why, but you'll get a warning, it works. Uh, if you put end around ex explode, but you will get a warning um, on the page. So this is how you do it to avoid that warning. Um, like I said, you could also do an STR, a sub STR on the type and to get everything after the forward slash, so ignore everything before the forward slash and just get this bit. That will work also, you can do it any way you want. This is just the way I've done it for several years now and um, it works. So, um, so if else, if none of them are true, then else, oops, we're going to add to the errors array um, file format not allowed uh, yeah, put that. okay so now what we're going to do is keep missing out equals is do another if for the size so if size is greater than a certain size let's put that in, in a second uh, what we're going to do is just copy this down here then we're just going to put in here file size um, too big. Um, then we'll put a two megabyte limit on this, um, just for the sake of having something. Um, so what to do? Get the two. The so what to do? Actually, we're not going to do two meg. We'll do uh, we'll do one meg actually. You can do whatever you like, but um, some things, some web servers restrict to two meg. That's probably why I did that straight away. But anyway, to get the size of two, uh, a meg. Basically, if you just go to Google, then you put one megabyte in bytes, and it will give you the byte there. It's basically, um, one, two, three, is it a million? Yeah, it's a million bytes, um, but obviously it goes over just slightly in real, in a real megabyte. So, uh, if size, okay. Alright, so that's basically all we're going to do for the restrictions so now what we want to do is if if enter errors indicating there is no error else we can actually just copy and paste this up here down here it's the same so else just loop through the errors array and print out each error there okay so now what we're going to do is here is if so just like up here with everything else but we're going to change if update we're going to create this in a minute profile picture um, and basically what we need to take in to this is first of all the user's ID as always users data id um, and then what we're going to do is dollar underscore files profile picture and we need to pass it the, the tmp name so we can get the temporary file location and move it um, and then we need to pass it the extension so we can save it in the database Okay, so that account.php looks good now. So what we can do is move over into functions. So we can create this function down here. So what we want to do is function update profile picture. Okay, and then just like we said, we need um, the user's ID. So we can just put in ID. Um, we need the temp name so tmp name and what would you want extension okay so now what we can do is if um, move up underscore uploaded underscore file so we want to move the tmp name so the temp file where do we want to put it we want to put it in the images forward slash user images um, forward slash and then we need to concatenate this is the way I'm going to do the um, to set up the profile picture so basically at the current moment 
I'm only going to be doing one upload. You might have to change this this method if you want the user to have multiple images but for the moment this will work perfectly fine for just one image at one time per user um, so basically what the image is going to consist of is the user's ID as the name of the image if you know what I mean so what we want to do is concatenate onto that the ID then we want to concatenate a dot so we can put then the extension onto that Okay, um, and then what we want to do is go and because we want to update the e extension in the database, so let's go to update users set uh, profile ext to um, I'm going to concatenate the extension onto that where id is equal to the id that was passed okay so if all that's true then we can return true else return false I'll Okay, so I think we're looking good with that now. One last thing to do is in index is to finish off um, this little part. So what we could do now is go to else, create another echo with the image source. Okay, now in here, basically put images forward slash user images forward slash, um, and we want to concatenate onto here profile users data um, the ID of them um, and then we want to concatenate a dot and then concatenate the profile users data extension Make that back on there. Okay, what we're we missing? What we're we missing? Um, okay, there we go. And then basically, what's going to happen is because, say, if they use that's what I'm saying before about um, resizing images on upload. At the moment, I'm basically just going to add a width and height to this. So width 200 and height as. 200 um, but um, usually it would be a good idea to actually resize these images on upload but anyway that's for some other tutorial so this basically should all be working now so if we refresh we click on profile obviously this user hasn't uploaded if we try and upload an image now so if I try and upload this image here okay this is a JPG so it's allowed click update it says updated and if we go back to profile oops we get undefined ext in there let's just uh, let's just have a quick check of the folders so I'll use the images as you can see the images has been moved in there so that's a good sign and you can see how the user id is the name um, and let's check the database so refresh this the extension has gone into successfully um, so it's basically just something wrong in the index page that we have missed out. So basically let's just see what it says. Um, undefined index ext. Okay, um, I think it's actually, um, what is it, is it profile? Just check functions. Yeah, it's profile ext. Okay, so let's try now. Refresh, there we go, there's the image, and they're all looking good. Um, so that's all for this tutorial. Next one, I'll probably be doing maybe I'll probably do a, a reset button next to it so you can delete the image off the server and go back to your default profile image. Uh, but that's just simple, you know, 
changing any back and deleting that file so it's not too difficult but um, I will still do that tutorial anyway so thanks for watching and I will see you next time